Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Gemini. Keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Gemini. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. I repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on. As well as Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go support me on Ko-Fi. Let me reach next level. So we can get down the deck. And if you'd like to make a donation, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, uh, Gemini. Before we get into your lovely reading here, you may be noticing this deck in kind of like the corner over here. What is this deck? Who made this deck and how do I get a hold of it, right? Gemini. Well, I've been working on this deck since the beginning of this year, alright? And it has taken a lot of time, it's taken a lot of investments here. I made every every card, all the artwork, I made the guidebook. It is a 54 card oracle deck, alright, Gemini? And it can also be used as tarot, but each one has its own tarot meaning. Not regular tarot, but its own tarot, right? Uh, now this deck is used for working with the Egyptian gods and goddesses, how to work with them, how to connect with them, the messages from them, prayers for them, and so on. Alright, now if you're interested in getting this deck and purchasing this deck, you can go ahead and contact my mother. Alright? And, uh, we'll be holding classes for this deck in October as well. Go ahead and contact her for all of that. Her channel name will be in the comments. Alright, but a lot of you already know her. So let's see for a sign of Gemini. What spirit has in store for yourself? What's the message for you? What's coming towards you? We have the two of pentacles. We have the rabbit. All right, the rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is manifestation. The rabbit is fertility, is abundant. All right, the queen of swords can be yourself, whether you're male or female. Does not matter. We have the hermit which can be that of Virgo, so you have those placements in your chart or one around you. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. Alright, looks like you've been on a journey here, especially Nine of Wands, the Hermit. Alright, you've been on a spiritual journey here. Okay, you have a Nine of Swords. You have people not listening to you, Gemini. <laughs> you have a Knight of Pentacles. Alright, there may be something you're studying here. You have the Page of Pentacles. Alright, look at this. We have something coming in that's going to make you very happy. Alright, it can be something materialistic here with it being Pentacles. Either way, it was a promise fulfilled here. Okay? You have the hangman. You have people here who are not listening to you, kind of being put in the hangman position so that they do listen to you. So right now, it's like they have... I don't know. You know there's some people you talk to, and it's just like it doesn't register upstairs what you're saying. Kind of goes like right over the head or one ear out the other. Have a Knight of Wands. King of Wands, which can be that of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got those placements in your chart one around you. You have the Five of Cups. Maybe so, maybe someone missing you. Are you missing this person? We have the Ace of Swords. The Ten of Wands. And a lot of hard work here. We have the Sun. The Sun can be abundance. Once again, Gemini. So you're connected with the Sun. It's healing rays, alright, it's abundance here. We have the Seven of Pentacles, there could be someone here wanting a family with you. We have the Page of Cups, maybe this comes as a surprise. We have the Six of Swords, but look at this, you're moving fast towards change. You have the Fool, alright, you're ready for new beginnings, you're, you're emerging new. We have a Nine of Pentacles. Oops. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're going towards your new beginning, new opportunities. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have spirits here wanting to co-create with you, wanting to work with you. Yeah, we do have fairies, we do have frogs. Okay? We have a Seven of Swords. Maybe finding some things out about people. We have the Queen of Cups, which could be that of Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So maybe you have those placements, some in your chart. I want to round you, but I feel like you're getting more into your psychic side, more into your intuitive side as well, Gemini. You have the Eight of Cups, okay? Maybe it's something you walked away from and you went towards and you connected with the moon. You talked to the moon here. I feel like you have a heavy connection with the moon. Now 
and the higher fence. Right? Yeah, so there's something you're studying. Maybe some sort of contracts here. I feel like it's more in terms of study. All right, which, hey, maybe you should go ahead and take those classes. You know what you're saying, Gemini. We have the Knight of Cups. All right. There's something here you've been desiring. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe it's been money. All right, treasure. We do have money coming in for you. We have a Three of Wands. Maybe this is something you've been working on, building towards, expecting here. We have a Chariot. All right, you're moving forward here. You have to be making some allies. Yeah, the six pentacles here. Yeah, I do feel like allies. And I do feel like you're on the receiving end of the universe. Alright, we have coins, we have money coming in here. The two of swords. There's gonna be someone trying to give you some conflict about it, but whatever. They're kind of they're kind of dumb anyways, Gemini. Just ignore them. We have the eight of wands. Alright. You're free. You're moving towards this new beginnings. You're moving quite fast towards it. You're there's like a lot of passion with it as well. Card fall. Now the world. Okay? I feel like you're in alignment with the world, with the earth, the universe. We have Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so can be getting over some endings here, can be getting over some some releases. We have a two of cups, look at that. We do have some sort of love here. We have your uh, we have the Empress. Alright, so we can be emerging as the Empress here. There could be also things like fertility. Once again, we have the Rabbit. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which is talking about someone wanting a family there. And then we also have the Goddess Yamaya. So this is what this is reminding you of. So you may be connecting with that Goddess. You have the High Priestess. Yeah, you're heavily intuitive here, Gemini. You're appearing as the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups. Alright, you're very spiritual. We have the Ten. It's about to say Ten of Swords again. But we have the Tower. So you have blockages being removed. We have towers being knocked down. We have King of Swords in reverse. All right, we have the Six of Wands. We have victory. Okay, we have a lot of people looking up to you. So, Gemini, that's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop. Go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. And, like I said about the cards in the beginning of the video, and if you want to see more content, totally subscribe. Bye, guys.